All right, ready? Man, you're taller than me, especially with those heels. Oh, I gotta stand up tight. No, no. <laughs> Hey, it's Jason with Jay Allen Photography, and I'm working again today with Mariana. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Happy to be here. Yeah, so she's going to be like a star on this channel. So we've got another project that we're actually working on. Unfortunately, we sort of shot it the other day, but yours truly forgot to actually hit the record button. So we're going to redo it. So Mariana's got two videos coming out very soon, so please enjoy this one. Um, what I kind of wanted to talk about in this one is, and I mentioned it in the other video with her, is the ability or the need to actually shoot and work in order to get better. But this is something that I've been kind of like chewing on a little bit as far as for me is, what is the key to consistency in your photography? And to me, it's being consistent with your photography. Is that like a mind blow? But again, you're a dancer, right? So how often do you dance when, like, I don't know if you're still dancing, but... Yeah. How often did you dance? You probably danced four, five, six times a week, right? Oh yeah, when I when I was actually like consistently dancing, pretty much every single day, maybe like morning, afternoon, in yeah. the evening, so. And so you almost think that this is something that is like a common sense, but there's a lot more to it than just being consistent. And so it's like consistently shooting at the same times, maybe consistently using light. If I want to work as a senior photographer, consistently working with seniors. Um, if I want to work with dancers, work with dancers and shoot dancers consistently, that type of thing. I use a lot of uh, flash and strobe, so I'm consistently using that to get a consistent look on my work. And so I'm consistently doing the same thing every time to get consistent with my work. And so that's kind of what I want to just talk a little bit behind the scenes as you guys get to look at uh, Mariana model in front of the camera and some of the photos so here we go yeah, yeah. awesome yeah. I've got Mariana right here and as you can probably see just in the video it's overcast she's in the shade I could shoot it natural light if I really wanted to but preaching that consistency moniker right I want to be consistent and so I'm controlling more of the light by using my off-camera flash and I'm gonna get those nice catch lights in her eyes. It's just gonna be more, more controlled lighting on my part, and it's gonna give me the consistent look throughout the session that I want. two and three this has nothing to do with consistency but I want to show this man I love the pose I'm gonna move the camera let's go back to the arms to the rails so look at what she's doing to the shape of her body it's just absolutely beautiful and so we have this beautiful curve just based off of her pulling away from the body the heels actually gives that too but it's just a beautiful shape to the body and so that's really absolutely gorgeous has nothing to do with, con with consistency, but I just wanted to show a beautiful pose. One, two, three. Gorgeous, two and three. And then maybe just open to me just a little bit. Bring your right shoulder to me just a little bit. Yes. Can we bring your feet in a little bit closer to the rail? And so push back just a little bit and then that leg back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Two and three. Gorgeous. Ooh, what if we hold the heel? Right here, just like that, yep. I like the other one because it twists you a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And then just kind of relax that hand. Perfect, perfect. One, two, three. So I have people ask if I use presets, and I don't use presets. 
I edit every photo basically the exact same way and I'm able to do that by, again, consistently lighting the same way. And so uh, I will be doing a video uh, based off of how I edit and I might actually use some of these um, for how I edit. So, but again, it's that key to consistency. I'm gonna continue to light her in a specific way that works with my workflow and it just gives me a consistency in the work as far as the edits go. And so it's not just about constantly shooting, it's doing the same thing over and over again to get that same look. You know, I wanted five years ago when I really kind of started getting better, I wanted people to recognize my work just by seeing it. And so I wanted to develop a certain style and that's kind of what I've done. I feel that basically it's just consistency, repetition doing the same thing over and over again. One, two, three. Five years ago, I wanted to be like one of the top senior photographers in town and, and I didn't really know how to do it. Um, but something that I did, two things that I did. Um, the first was I knew I wanted to work with seniors. So I created like a senior rep program that gave me the opportunity to work with multiple seniors over the course of a school year. And so it gave me that consistency of being able to work with them, create something for a senior, and then they were able to push that out. And so um, being able to shoot with the people that I wanted to consistently shoot with allowed me to get better at what I was doing. And on the second side of that was I needed to be able to show this to seniors. How else am I gonna show this? But seniors were big and are still big on Instagram. And so I decided five years ago, and I probably need to dial it back, but I basically was pushing out content every day, consistently every day, pushing out new content. And again, having seniors that I could actually work with um, allowed me to have content that I could push every day. And so I was able to grow. And so to grow in anything that you're doing, you're looking for that consistency. But I've gone from like 250 followers to almost 6,000 or almost 5,000 and then almost 3,000 on my dance page. So it's just a consistent growth and, and you know, you've got to be consistent. If you want to grow on social media, if you need to get your work out and you want to grow on social media, you can't post once a month. You've got to post every day. You've got to be strict about it and, and motivated about that. So it's not easy. Uh, it is definitely a grind, harder than what I ever thought, but you've got to be consistent. And so even now, um, working on this YouTube channel, it's an opportunity for me to um, shoot every day and, and shoot as much as possible. So uh, that's kind of what I'm doing. And you know, one of the photographers that I follow on YouTube, Jaron Pullen, um, he talks about when he first started his YouTube channel, he was posting every day. Now, I don't do that every day to YouTube, but I have been consistent every week, posting once a week on YouTube this whole year, and it's, it's helped. So be consistent in what you do. Beautiful, good. So something else about that consistency is really, um, again, I work with a lot of models. Uh, Mariana's fantastic. I don't need to pose her a lot, but the more you actually uh, pose, the more you work with somebody and create those poses, the easier it's gonna flow in your sessions. Um, a lot of new photographers, um, they don't realize exactly how important posing is, and it is something that eluded me for forever. And it wasn't until I actually started working with people that know what they're doing with their body um, that I could kind of start learning by watching what they do. And again, it's that consistency. You start to pose them and you start to pose the people that you're working with and it's just gonna make you that much better as a photographer if you can actually rock out your poses. I mean, poses will make or break your photos. One, two, three. Two and three. Gorgeous. All right, so again, I shoot with a strobe. I make that perfectly known, but I also can shoot fairly well in natural light. And right now, Mariana is actually being lit beautifully by this diffused cloud up above us. She's got no shadows on her face. It just looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, but what I want to tell those natural light photographers that don't want to get into the strobes, 
shoot consistently at the same times of day. You know, you control, you can tell your clients, hey, shooting at 12 o'clock isn't a good idea. Shooting at three o'clock in the afternoon isn't a good idea. Sunrise, sunset. And if you keep your shoot times the same consistently, you'll be able to get, get a consistent light on your subjects. And so again, it's gonna just make you that much better if you're not having to struggle and figure things out. Work in those specific hours or find hours that work and shoot consistently in those times. I guarantee you it'll help. Just start being consistent in your work and your work will get so much better. Look facing away. And then let's look the other way. Yeah, yeah. And just let it drop straight down. Yep, right there. <laughs> okay, hold on, yeah, this is gorgeous. Sun's bright, I'm gonna have you close your eyes and I'm gonna have you kind of peek up. Don't look at the sun. One, two, three. One, two, three. Mariana, thank you so much for working with me again today. Yeah, happy to be here. Thank yeah, you. Very good. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's great working with people that I know. It's, um, it just is really fun. You get that, again, that consistency is built through that chemistry, I think, and, or maybe it's vice versa. But either way, it's just nice getting to work with somebody who knows what they're doing in front of the camera and just can help my, make my work look that much better. So remember, be consistent with what you're doing. Have a consistent idea um, and, and just go for it. Don't, don't relax on it. You know, if you want to be this type of photographer, you've got to do it at a consistent basis. But there's so many more avenues of that consistency to get you where you probably need to be. So again, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Commenting is fantastic. It really helps the algorithm. I truly appreciate it. Hit the little bell for notifications. And until next time, keep shooting. All right, awesome.